Hello everyone and welcome to Fearless Fridays. My name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I coach and guide entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs to create a career that they can love. And today I want to talk about change. And we've all gone through change before. I know we're going through some pretty intense change right now, but there has been change in your life. Loss of a job, loss of a loved one, loss of a relationship, moving, graduation. I mean, there are so many pinpoints of change in your life that have caused tremendous growth, that have led you to where you are today. So let's look at change as something that will be positive because you will create some, some label that makes it positive and some things will happen in your life that create a positive impact because you're a go-getter, you're a doer, right? You're a self-leader. Uh, but very often we react to change instead of actually you know, being the change that we want to see in the world. So change happens and we react to it or deal with it. But in actuality, we have a choice. We have the ability to choose the things that we want for ourselves in our life and to take action where we need to. So how can you be the change moving forwards? And here's a, a little acronym that you can remember whenever you're going through change that might be able to help you out. It's called the ABCs of managing change. The first step is to just bring a level of awareness to what's going on. What are the facts? This is what has occurred to me. Uh, B stands for beliefs. So what are your beliefs? What do those, you know, are those beliefs grounded in reality or are those based on your stories and experiences? I bet you they're based in your stories and experiences because that's what beliefs are. So ask other people what they think as well. Really try to gather, you know, what the facts are and now what do I truly believe about these facts and how do I think they're going to impact my life? And now, how can I alter my beliefs to figure out a way that this change can positively impact my life? And once you identify that, you move on to C, which is commitment. What commitments can you make now moving forwards to take proactive action to improve your life based on the change that has occurred? So guys, if you've enjoyed this video, if you've taken one thing away, please leave a comment, share it, get more eyes on this information. I'm trying to create a positive social impact and need your help. So most importantly, everyone, do not forget, keep on living for yourself.